Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal playing VIP6, and uh, look, I need to defeat World 2. I need to beat World 2, because I want to know where that pipe pops up at this point, because the world is blown up all over the place. The Isle of Floating Islands! No Dagon. Uh, I noticed how quickly that boon start disappears. Uh, compared to VLDCX, like that's something that was done uh, in terms of coding. Modify. Hey, it's everyone's best pal, uh, Boss Fish, Boss Bass. One up. All right, that's cool. Whoa, 82 lives. We're not even done with World Two yet. That's pretty good. And Green Switch is getting me a pretty big advantage. Amazing color palette on this land uh, does not make any eyeball suffer. So, whoa, whoa, there we go. Uh, uh, curious. Curiosity will always destroy this cat, given enough time. So, alright, I mean, look at that. See, flo tiny floating eye. Whoa, double boss bat. Alright, how's this boss bat lighting fire? I don't know if I'm just missing him. Okay, so, it's a boss bass you can do something about. That's weirdly rare. Normally, they go out of their way to make him invincible, because look, man. Their level's just not the same if you don't have an instant moving death pit everywhere at all times, alright? It's the sanctity of my level depends on it! My word is law! Check it out, they put a fireball right at the doorbell. This is... Oh, look at that, it's King Slime. This was a perka poofer. Oh, there's poison. Okay. So, as of yet, this is not really a castle. This is kind of fascinating. Happy fish! I guess World 2 was Water World? That maybe? Kinda? I mean, it wouldn't make sense with it. Oh, okay, we got Tide going on here. Don't put that in your mouth still. Always don't forget. Now the Tide's going down. Amazing. And now there's a mine here. Wow! Eh. I want to pop on the blocks, but I can't. Yeah, see this Perka Poofer. He's moving around. He's being very friendly. Uh, struggling with sprites, a constance in this game, it's kind of weird. Look at that, these potatoes are been full of lies. Lots of poison suddenly. You know, when I think of small islands, poison might be somewhere around there. In the possibility, in the top 40 fears. Alright, go, oh, so, so here you guys do the jump, but then you get a ride, but if you're, if you're too slow, the ride is gonna not give you a very good ride at all, and it's like, well, we got fish falling from the heaven, and I let one touch my head, because I wanted to see if there were good prizes, and no, there wasn't, unless you want mine, I mean, I won't blame you for that. What? Boons on the island? How dare he crash a vacation of the great Iggy himself! Th time to flee! <laughs> it's pretty funny there. A little punchline at the end of the tech square. Oh, wait a second. What? What? Ho <laughs> ho Boons coming in through the back door! <laughs> I've, got, I've got nowhere to go! I'm dead! Dead! <laughs> That's like that one meme, look at that, there's an exit sign, yeah, check that out, I'm not- Yeah, see, like, I was wondering, that was like a stylistic decision, because the similarity between the floating island and the Topsil reverse shell island. I like the idea that we just skip the whole castle and we just kind of go in through the backyard instead, though, that's pretty good. That's funny. And hey, we destroyed Iggy without really thinking about it. Yeah, like, I did most of World 2 before doing the boss of World 1, which is why we just kind of got, like, got these... these Entex cutscenes so close to one another. Boone, having just sung the tremendously negligent vacation air into the lava... <laughs> that was too easy! Rude! <laughs> That's a pretty good text at the end. <laughs> I'm digging this. Whoa. This is a lot more diggly 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 happening than you might expect here. The line, Time to Flee, is quoted from a scene in Dragon Ball Z, in which the character Paragus tries to make excuses for being in a one-person escape pod, while another character, whom he abandoned, is preparing to kill him. In the Japanese fandom, the presence of the pod in this scene has made it a meme for one-person escape pods in general. 
Well then, I know exactly what you're talking about. I didn't think about it, but I know what you mean. And look at that, there's another way to the forest right here. So is that level a level I'll get to eventually? I don't know, there's the rest area. Let's just chill for a while and get- Wow, this is a very low budget area. <laughs> Maybe there's a knee- there could be an exit in it. I'm not seeing a key on it though. Like, there has been bonus areas like this in the past. With like, prizes, so I'm just- Just to be thorough. Okay, I just decided that flying might be an idea to check it out. I don't know, here's a tree. The word Forest Mushroom level name is the same as the title of a music track or Super Mario RPG soundtrack. The level music here doesn't follow so it's the name but not the music. It's like they're aware of the cliché and kind of play on it. Two exits! Ooh, look at this graphics. This is fancy and a bit hard to read just because of, uh, Beware Forest Mushroom. Don't touch that mushroom. Oh, <laughs> that mushroom has legs! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it does the sound of a Charlie, but it is not a Charlie because it died in one single fireball. So take that into consideration. That's right. Oh no, I think it might just be. I don't know. I might have read the thing. So okay, so basically, if you see a mushroom on the ground, assume emptiness. It's a weird take, but okay. Hey, can I just do it with a jump? No, I'm gonna have to spin jump on him, but yeah, that's the fear. Okay, no, never mind. You just need to do a big hop. Look at this guy. So fast. He's just like, I'm on it, Captain, and just zooms right in. Well, good for him, you know? He knows what you want to commit violence to Boone. That's a real mushroom, you can tell, because it didn't activate yet. And then I just kind of sat there. Wasn't my best move. Now they're stuck in there with a lava lotus. Had a lot of fun. Ah, uh, look at that cute guy. Okay, there's a turtle down there. Can you see it? Just kind of swimming around the mud. Yeah, he's having time of his life. Well, I tried to destroy you with a shell and it didn't work. Snow, I am like... Yeah, very meek and weak. I have nothing for me. Ninjas pop. Trains explode. Oh man, okay, and I'm gonna have to replay a level. <laughs> um, I don't know. I had like a weird non-reaction there, and I just kind of reacted right into them. Not my best move. So this one's a real... So, okay, so beware the forest mushrooms. They will dance. I still don't know if you can jump on them. Like, what happens if you, like, hop on one of them? Yeah, I'm not gonna get it, because I need to... Need to re-get them all anyways. So, there we go. I mean, a lot of their... Challenge seems to... Okay, so a shell will protect you. I'm trying to learn all the rules here. This is where I died. See, I want to hop on one of them. See if I can hop on one of them. <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty good. I, I was expecting it. Man, I died right at the end. Well, very close to the end. Wait, in that case I'd be missing a coin, maybe. I don't know, there might be stuff somewhere. Look at this collection of objects! Oh no! You're gonna be ambushed in the dark. Uh, yeah, so... And that just opens up... No, it just opens up one path. Maybe one goes back up there? I don't know how this is organized. I should have gone to power-ups and rest there. You know what? I will. Like, why not? I have access to it. Well, hello there, Feather. Just here. Having fun. Here's one. You can go in this pipe, which I've apparently never tried. That's gonna be a killer mushroom. Yep. Okay, well that explains the coin I didn't see anything. Yeah, like that's where they're gonna hide it. They're gonna hide it in the secret pipe. You can go in it. There you go, I found it. And then you get one up. Wow. There's like a veritable treasure trove here, just randomly. Yeah, as well as a killer death mushroom. Of course you would come out there. So I just gotta go back for the... Dagonon didn't pick up over here. It's like right on top of that guy. Right here, this guy. 
gun in early because I want to hold the jump button and with a cape that makes it glide. Yeah! Might as well, like, refinish the level since the ending is, like, right there. I did it! What a cute little level! Like, this level is just kind of adorable. You made this weird little, like, evil mushroom. They're not really evil. I think they, they're just very enthusiastic and do not really have a good sense of personal space. But, I mean, like, that's fine, you know? No one's perfect out there. Do I dare do red level? Probably. The germophobic plumber. Alright. This plumber don't like no germ. Pollution of the drainage channel beyond here may cause anyone obsessed with cleanliness to die of sheer shock on touch. Toxin colored dolphins that live in a mug beyond this pipe are real flippin' filthy, so I wouldn't go touching them if I were you. Alright. Can I go like above this giant wall? Well, there I try to fly. Okay, there I did fly. I must have hit something. Not what I meant. No, okay, I was wondering, because the camera obviously stretches out there. Alright, so are we talking just about this gross water here? That's gonna kill me on touch. And there we got Greeny Man. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take what the text of the level say like this is like basically a yeah okay so confirm they've basically transformed the the why the blue coin there they basically transformed the dolphins from a friendly little guy into an enemy with an interesting like jump arc got it got it dirty dolphin got it i wonder if the secret exit is like going <sighs> man this is honestly not the easiest thing in, in the universe Eugh. Alright, being safe for now. I still don't know what the blue coins mean. Like, do they mean something? So germophobic. I'm saying that word very wrongly. I'm aware. Don't worry. This is just like checking out. We put money there to bait the dolphins and the hopping, and it keeps working. Alright, that guy's got a big... Oh, okay, so... See, now I wonder. Oh, okay, okay. I bet that every box with a blue coin... Instant death. So I'm gonna have to replay, sadly. I... The water didn't look discolored, so I kinda just fell for it. <laughs> That's sad. So yeah, I'm gonna have to replay the level. Yeah, I bet that for the secret exit, every... Okay, see? Because that, then you can go back. You get this, okay, well, alright. That's on me for just kind of rushing. But yeah, secret exit, you get the star, every box with a blue coin underneath it probably um, has a cholesterol problem. No, that's where a star is, if you got a star, to keep a star chain going. There you go. So, you know, take that into consideration, maybe. Whoa, considerations. Yeah, and there's a switch here. That's how you get that last night on. Looks like there's a serious amount of lead, though. Like, if I'm in the, on a platform that's just kind of sinking. Uh, okay, doesn't care about that. That's nice. Like, the fact that I pressed that multiple times. Oh, well, thank you, Surprise Pencil. You're the best. Uh, no, I, okay, you know what? I should just stay here and redo it again. There we go. Wow, that's a deep end guy. Yeah, oh, jeez. Well, okay. No, I... No, I... I... I've said this in VLDCX, I like this new controller, but I have to find a solution for it just falling in love with the up direction. Because it is making things harder than they need to be, and I think that's really unfortunate. But like, you think they noticed while they were making the controller? Like, I don't, I don't get that. I hate it. 
No, I... No! No! Stop holding... Stop going up! Yeah, look at that. But by just refreshing it, I made sure that I had plenty of time. This water's good. I just think there's something cool underneath it. Like, it's a clue. Like, you spend the whole level going all... Yeah! Secret moon! You spend a whole level dodging water, so you know, you're kind of set in your mind to maybe not touch the water. But look, it's trapped because it's clearly blue. Alright, before going for the secret exit, I feel like I want to do the dragon run first. We got a little bump just at the side of a cliff. Yeah, I want to do the Dagadons first. Because it's just basically replaying through the whole level in a marathon kind of style. That's fine. I'm not going to want to touch these because those are going to have a star if you have a star. Whoops. Alright, so you bought this, then you can just follow down the death zone, and you're back here. Wow, he's alley. Right, similar story for here. You get here, you get bought by the mine. So here you do that, and yeah, like you just you go back. You got like so much plenty of time kind of almost. The key is the almost. There we go, first try. Look at that, I can even just finish the level normally, too. Like a lot of things, man. You do it once, and you're good. It's just doing that once. Let's figure it out. What's you gotta do, man? It's gonna be okay. So! Oh wow, the moon respawn. Otherwise, I would've gone again. <laughs> Alright, secret exit time. That. Yep. Oh, you can't stand on them? Alright, so, get the star. I don't know if going with the water current would be faster than doing the platforming, but by doing the platforming, I ensure that I can kill a lot of enemies. Also, that I'll be in a position to, you know, bop this block and get and refresh my star, which is something I am extremely concerned about. Yeah, I don't know if swimming is honestly really quick, even if you are with the current. There we go, look at that, look at that, and look at that, I'm bringing all my sparkles with me. I will not cleanse the world of everything that I bring. I summon the path that's leading to somewhere indeed. Oh, um, okay. So what I think I'm gonna do, next time I'm gonna do the Red Switch Palace, then I think I'm gonna double back to World 1, so we can go to Abyss Pink and see what's going on in World 3 there. I don't know, hey, I don't, uh, I guess I'll stay here so that next time I remember. Why would I forget? I don't know. I, I'm, just, I'm not doing it now, like, I'm expecting it to be a real level. I don't know, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs>